Hi, Andy Stevens from ESL, uh, and today I thought we'd take a quick look at a 97.8 Jex Unisa ECU uh, as found on the Impreza Forester and Legacy Twin Turbo. Um, the ECU motherboards are all similar but they are populated slightly differently. This particular ECU is an 8S off a UK Turbo. Um, the way we know that is A because it says D37 down here which matches um, an 8S uh, code also at the top left here you've got uh, an immobilizer chip okay so uh, the Japanese ECUs uh, don't have that um, the contact strips you see across the top here that's obviously where an ESL board plugs into um, this uh, big square chip here is the the main dude that's the microcontroller it also contains the ROM uh, it's a custom JEX Unisa uh, IC which is uh, not something you could see obviously on an aftermarket ECU because they don't have that kind of budget but uh, JEX obviously being the size JEX is it can afford to uh, fabricate its own integrated circuits uh, so you'll only find these ICs on ECUs uh, so yeah again this is, uh, provides all the control uh, also contains the ROM image which uh, can't be manipulated unless of course you buy uh, an ESL ECU board to put on top and then you can uh, down the left hand side here, this is interesting, uh, this is actually the ignition circuitry. You can see that only half of it is populated. Um, you've got two ballast resistors there and you've got some blank spaces there. Um, uh, same here with the transistors down there. The, uh, this is because Impreza uses a wasted spark ignition system. If this was a legacy twin turbo, you'd see that all of those would be populated, i.e. you'd have two components, you'd have four components rather instead of two. Uh, we carry on down here, obviously this the other thing's the connector block to the loom. This is the heat sink with five heat clamps. Under there you've got the high power uh, transistors which will switch things uh, like fuel injectors. Um, and then if you move up here you've got the lower power transistor banks here which um, are used to switch things like a boost control solenoid or something that needs runs a, a bit less power and, and current, doesn't need quite the same level of uh, heat soak. Um, again there's a there are two populated on this board. There's actually room for a third here, and again, if you look at a legacy because it runs six boost control solenoids, you would see a third transistor bank in there. Moving along, um, down here you see the power management circuitry. Uh, this is a big diode, so if you did connect the battery the wrong way around, this would uh, stop um, the ECU from blowing up. That would just stop any current being drawn. Uh, and these are the um, smoothing capacitors here. Again, this is another custom IC at the top here. This handles um, some of the software, um, I should say, it handles some of the software in hardware. Uh, it sounds a bit confusing, but it means it runs very much quicker than if you just had a regular processor doing absolutely everything. So again, this is another dedicated IC, um, and that will run things like um, cam and crank timing. Uh, the signals will come in there, and this IC will make the decisions. Uh, and this also handles the knock control circuit. Um, there's various other bits and pieces on there, but I didn't want to bore you for too long, so that was just a real quick walk around of the Jex 9798 ECU. Thanks for watching.